Hi, it's Brett Elliott, and welcome to part three in the series Ultimate Energy Healing. And today we're going to talk about the subject of energy exchange. You might remember in the last video we talked about energy coming down on us from above and how we need to get outside our ego or our bubble and rise above our body and our emotions and our mind in order to access healing energy. Today what I'm going to do is explain in a bit more detail the process of how that energy moves and the processes of energy exchange. The reason understanding energy exchange is so important is because a lot of people engage in healing or self-healing and think that they're going to be able to do it using their own energy and that's not the case. We need to access healing energy from the source which is above and beyond ourselves. So we need to understand how this energy moves. So let's start with some of the most common misunderstandings when it comes to energy exchange. You might have heard of the terms karma or as you give so shall you receive, what goes up must come down and that kind of thing. That kind of energy exchange is based on the idea of an equilibrium between what we put out and what we receive in return. Let me explain, for example, how some of these common misconceptions lead us astray. We think that when we do good things in the world, good things will come back to us. We put out a certain amount of energy, a certain amount of energy maybe come back to us in the form of money or goods or services or good relationships and so on. But that just doesn't happen, does it? This concept of karma or equilibrium or giving and receiving is actually false and, it, and it's not true. We find as we go through lives that we, we put out energy and it's not always returned to us. We do work and we put out effort and it's not always returned to us as money or, or possessions and therefore we're often left feeling disappointed. This happens in relationships, it happens in the workplace and we end up feeling things, it's not fair, you know, things aren't coming back to us as we expect. And we start feeling sad or angry, frustrated, disappointed. And we start feeling tired and drained because it's not coming back. And that's the cause of our ill health. So when it comes to healing ourselves and accessing healing energy, we need to look at things in a completely different fashion. Energy exchange in a completely different way needs to take place within us. I mentioned this in the last video, healing energy comes down on us from above and it comes from outside of ourselves, from a, an infinite source. But it doesn't want anything in return. Healing energy is unconditional. And so when healing energy comes through us, it is going in an outward fashion only. It doesn't require anything in return. So therefore, this arrow here can be erased. And what that does is it removes the, the feeling of inadequacy or lack of the energy being returned to us and we have access to an infinite supply of unconditional energy. Fascinating isn't it? When you think about this, how can this be? The reason is, is that healing energy comes from the infinite source of life and creation things that scientists don't yet understand. So this energy can pass through us in an outward fashion and actually never expect anything in return, which is fantastic. So therefore we don't we no longer feel disappointed. We no longer feel that the world is that the world owes us something or that there's an injustice taking place. So we have peace. Our emotions are healed by this. What a fantastic thing. And I guess you could think of this, and an analogy for it could be the sun. Because we don't need to give energy to the sun, do we? It is an infinite source of energy, and it supplies us with life on the planet. So you could see healing energy in a similar fashion. It doesn't require anything in return. And as it passes through us, the same applies. We don't require anything in return for this energy and for giving this energy and for sharing this energy. So just in summary, healing energy is infinite. 
it is unconditional. And lastly, remember this. It's one way. So with healing energy, there is no such thing as karma, or as you give, so shall you receive, and those kind of things. It is an unconditional, infinite, one-way flow of energy from an infinite source. And all we need to do now is learn how to connect with it and how to receive it. So in the next couple of videos, we're going to explain how you can connect with this healing energy and how you can receive it.